Hey everybody, it's Walking Dead time again. We're on episode seven, it's called Promises Broken. I don't even know what to expect for this episode because we have seen the return of truly terrifying Walking Dead. Last episode was amazing and also scary as hell. I don't know what we're gonna get y'all. Let's just buckle up and get it done. About three miles out. Daryl just told us to go home. I didn't hear that. Well, I Maggie, what did you hear? So. He said they were armed with lookouts. And Daryl knows I would never turn back. No. With what army? We cannot go there. Our people are about to starve. I'm not going back to my family having failed. Uh, Gabriel! For what, a, a sack of beans? I mean, yeah. If you're more interested in saving yourself, then you can go. Fair play, Megan. You can leave. <laughs> I do this for you. Don't worry. We are good. I don't have to keep looking over my shoulder. We will never be even. Never, honey. Then you are going to be down a soldier that you desperately need. Okay, let's just all go home. <laughs> Take a promise from me. The episode says he yeah. should not. Who would? <laughs> Who is that? Is it somebody we know? Oh, is it somebody Maggie knows from Meridian? Y'all look sad. It's his sister's best friend. And his sister's You're still missing. Kidding. We have to get them. All of them. Maggie! How, baby? How? Um, are y'all gonna whisper your way into Meridian? <laughs> I cannot believe the writers have me up in here siding with Negan because I think they should go home. <laughs> Is this part of y'all's punishment? Okay. Fake Stephanie. Right. Lance has a wrong way of doing things, but you can trust him. Mm, I don't even trust you, bitch. <laughs> mm, money. They got real hospitals and shit here. Okay, yeah. Oncologists, come on now. This becomes another debt we have to work off. Never been afraid of hard work. And at least... Kinda anti-friends who die from stubbornness. <laughs> okay, that's what I was gonna say. At least you'll be alive to work it off, babe. Sure this is way too close to where the nasties are working. The smell is... Revolting. The nasties? Oh, are you talking about us? <laughs> Miss Milton has great affection for her fellow Harvard grads. She be no trouble finding a position for you. Y'all still I'm acting like that shit matters. To, work to pay for the aid from my community, but I'm not staying here permanently. After you meet Miss Milton, you might reconsider. I'd rather see my friends. Okay, get them out of the nasty Actually, category. Can somebody take me to where they're working, please? They broke the law. Okay, so they're assigned to clear walkers, and I'm. Expected to provide legal services to Miss Milton and her cabinet. Right. <laughs> yeah, like what is the hierarchy here? Y'all got a lot of weird shit going on. Well, what? Dog, you need to get your loyalties together, bitch. Daryl, how are you gonna shuttle that food out to our babies? Yeah. Thanks. There you go, baby. Make a friend. Even a psycho can come in handy. Your sister's out there. Find her. If y'all live! But the one, he's mine. Which one is that? Pope? Or the one that won't get off Daryl's ass? You're gonna have to find me four strangers. Only me three. I kept my mask for practical and sentimental reasons. This is not fun. Well, not with that attitude. Negan, stop! <laughs> I know it's your way to cope, but. <laughs> you try to build this half out of life? Yes, sir. Free wound the passes. Yes, sir. We said oh, we come looked. on, there are dozens of these assholes out oh. there. No! Are y'all having a little power play here? What does she really want? Take your boy over there. Go and find my goddamn enemies! Your boy? You need to put some respect on Daryl's name. Okay. We need a place. We found one. We can fill in the rest. You went in there and killed a bunch of families and took it? You got something to say about it? Yeah, you're a piece of oh, shit, girl. Yeah, you don't understand. It's easy for you out here on your own. Bitch, you don't know nothing. No, the norm. He's like a father to me. He made me strong. Doubt you ever needed anyone to make you strong. And regardless, girl, that don't excuse what's going down now. Ooh, Maggie, take that face off, girl. Nah, still too sexy, girl. You need to <laughs> make it look more dead. <laughs> this would be so. Terrifying. I could never whisper. It's not gonna fit you perfectly. It was someone else's face. Stop having so much fun, Negan. I take this back. Work on it. Fix it for you. And we'll try it again. Oh my God, he's being so sweet. You're good, Maggie. 
<laughs> He's being like kind and encouraging. I can't take it. <laughs> what the hell? Who are these people? He looks like he took the black and works the wall. Yeah, good hearing. Priest on priest. <laughs> Do you know he's there? I just don't understand why you wouldn't want the life that comes along with being a doctor here. No one can know that I was a doctor, okay? What is that? Just trust what me. What do they do okay. to the doctors here? But don't they already know that she's your sister? Didn't she already say you were a cardiothoracic surgeon? I don't understand. Have a meeting with Pamela Milton later. Anything I should know? He's a cake baker. He probably ain't never met that bitch. for you. Someone like me would never meet Miss Milton. Why not? You have to know your place. What? Why is he being taken? <laughs> but that is the Commonwealth way. <laughs> I was mad as a whisperer. Yes and no. Can't know that. So, your promise? Don't know yet. <laughs> How about you keep it? Me too, Maggie. I want us to be able to heal and move on, both of us. <sighs> you kidnapped my brother off the street. He'll be home tonight. That's how much time I need. For what? I can deliver for you. What? Who? What? There must Why? Be something in it for you. Yeah. A friend in high places. You sit tight for a few more hours. I guess I have no choice. A few hours. I don't understand. Is she royalty here? Like she got a pantsuit and an updo and all of a sudden people are taking orders from her but she can't get any information? It's so confusing in there. Well, it looks like someone's been through here. Daryl, what are you doing, babe? We don't want to actually find somebody. Please, don't you. Oh, who's that? I, I have a family who needs me. Please just, just let me go. Uh, Show us. I'll shoot you, find your family later. Okay. You're gonna lead them to your family? You don't even Show know them. them. How do you want us to engage? Like this man didn't just hear that walkie-talkie? He's still gonna lead you to his family? I get it. It's not like the saviors. We're lost in very different ways. There were no children at the satellite station. Oh, I'm glad they're addressing this. Look, all I'm saying is that I remember when my home was invaded and my people were killed. Okay, but y'all were doing dirty, dirty, dirty over there. That I couldn't heal. And I had to explain but to that's, them why, that's valid. why their leader failed to protect them. He killed people who had families. And he did it in front of their families. And you were all gleeful about it. I did. You're saying you do things differently? Got to yeah. so. I'd have killed every single one of you. I believe that. But also, they weren't living better as saviors. We gotta do whatever we can to protect our people, right? But half the people at the Savior Compound Why would you say that were to me? living as slaves. And why would you say that to her? She's trying to forgive you! The only way this works is if we're honest. Does he believe everybody living there was like happy and like healthy and well to be living there? What about Sherry's sister who was like dying for medication and her whole family were living as slaves to pay for her diabetes medication and you forced her to marry you. What about the concubines? Like, I just don't understand how they can justify the way the savior community was run as being like, oh, well, we were just families too, living happily. It's like, yeah, some people were families that were like trying to fight and survive, but they were slaves in your community. They weren't well whole members of what you had there. So it's not really comparable. It, mm. <laughs> I see you've done all my work for me. I didn't even bring you lollipops. Wait. Ha. Is that cute? <laughs> you know what? Oh, I have had several. I got antibiotics, painkillers, IV fluids. Really? Thank you. You feel up to a uh, new assignment? Or... Yes. Wait, what the fuck, you're Ezekiel? Wrong. You're acting crazy, babe. Stephanie, I'd like you to clear the area up along the north fence line. Has he been reprogrammed? I don't understand why he's so giddy all of a sudden. I know they helped him, but <laughs> they didn't cure his cancer. What? They don't hear those walkers? They're just making out? Why are these two people sitting outside the community making out here in this destroyed place? Oh, Eugene ran right up and saved their stupid asses after they called him a nasty. And had to save Stephanie. 
excuse me's ass too. You just disrupted our date. Excuse me. Oh, we, we should let you get life. bit? We have private security for that. <laughs> Where the hell are they? Oh my god, sorry, I'm just not used to talking to a plebeian, so this is Oh, someone used their dictionary. Okay, fine, get That's your ass bit, bye. Hold your horses one second. You don't hear this walker, yeah, you dumb yeah, bitch. Yeah, Eugene. Stephanie, yeah. say what you yeah. see, girl. <laughs> You break his fucking face, oh, Eugene. This guy was being well, an asshole. <laughs> but this is all your fault, sir. What the hell were you? I'm Wait, sorry. You gonna let this little asshole cut you out like this? Yes. But what the hell are you? Eugene, saying? don't admit it. Don't you know who that is? Hell no. Some little piece of shit running his mouth. Who I should have let get bit. <laughs> Next time, I will gladly let your ass get eaten. Trust. Thank you for being on time. Miss Milton is fastidious about her schedule. Would you Ooh, like a fastidious? Allergy? Her voice sounds. Hmm. 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 You're part of the new group that came in, right? I haven't seen my friends in a few days, so. Oh. Do me a favor, girl. Will you sing for us? Sorry to hear that. Is everyone okay? I'm afraid Miss Milton will have to reschedule. Someone just attacked her son. Um, uh, attacked. <laughs> He got what he got and he deserved it. Deserved worse, actually. Protect the governor's son. You'd have been a hero. I did not know That's who he right. was. My apologies. Y'all won't tell me I anything. I should take such a conclusion. <sighs> I need the name of your town and how to get there. Fuck you. This is beyond my purview. Then welcome. This is home. Your people, wherever they are, can figure things out on their own. And Eugene rots in a cell for punching some little twit in the face? I don't Wait. think you should tell him, Eugene. I don't think you should tell him. Oh, God. I can't believe that not only did Negan keep that mask, but he brought it with him. <laughs> he was like, I always keep it on me. Well, y'all got a good bit of walkers. Oh my God, it is just his family. His wife is pregnant? Oh, she's cut, she's bit, she's... See, I told you the truth. Please don't hurt us. You need to take your son and run. Go with your dad. Oh, at least Leah isn't totally gone. They were never gonna leave while I was still alive. Oh. I'm ready. Oh, girl. Ooh, cover that little boy's ears. Oh, she can't do it. You gonna make Daryl do it? Are you gonna tell Pop? Hey, you killed him. It'll be good for you. That's disgusting. Are you going to tell him that it was a family? Look, Leah, there's something I need to tell you. Wait, don't trust her too much. <gasps> Who is that? Is that Elijah's sister? Oh, please don't be his sister. Please don't be his sister. <gasps> it is. Fuck. Oh. Oh, that's so terrible. And he has to, like, keep it together. God, that is so many water, y'all. Wow. This is a good ass plan, y'all. Have mercy. <laughs> Next episode is episode eight. Usually that's our mid-season finale, but this season is 24 episodes, so I have no idea what they're gonna do as a midpoint. But God, y'all, so far fucking amazing. I am so glad they addressed the whole saviors versus the rest of the communities. The killing in the night and all of that because I know a lot of people bring that up a lot as a reason that the saviors weren't all wrong in whatever it was that they were doing and fighting Rick's people <laughs> but like obviously I've made my opinion on the situation really clear. I don't think that the situations are comparable because they weren't a uh, free and fair and equal society of people to begin with. They were made up of people who had been taken and kidnapped from other communities who were there against their will. People who were working as slaves just so that they could survive. People who wanted to leave and couldn't leave. And people who basically were being forced to trade sex for food and comfort. So <laughs> like that place needed to be destroyed and all of the people that did survive and join the other communities, they're better off for it, clearly. Obviously, Alden is our shining example. But also, there are a lot of people that were living there that didn't deserve to die that 
probably did die as a result of everything that went down there. So anyway, really interesting conversations this episode. I'm loving getting Maggie and Negan healing. More of that, please, writers. Don't skimp because we need it to actually make sense when she forgives him. <laughs> okay, I trust y'all. I know a couple people think that that the real Stephanie was the girl from the ice cream cart. I don't know if that was the same girl that was the receptionist in this episode, but that girl sounds much more like the Stephanie voice on the radio. I don't know if y'all think that because of the comics, because you actually know, or just because you're suspecting, or because the character in the comics was a black woman, because I remember hearing other people say that, but that girl seems way more, she seemed really concerned about the newcomers when she was talking to Yumiko. So, hmm, I don't know. I'm really excited to figure out if that is our real Stephanie because she would be so cute with Eugene. <laughs> She's adorable. So I guess we'll find out. Fake Stephanie is on my nerves though. No matter who the real Stephanie is, I do not believe that bitch in the glasses is the real one. She is definitely fake Stephanie. There's still so much to get through with this season, but we are almost a third of the way through this season. That's crazy. I don't know. No spoilers, please. Also, I guess we'll find out more next week. I'll see you then and I'll talk to you in the comments.